So this is LEDX Rando. I'm playing Bingo today. We're going to be doing like the standard settings with Dungeon Shuffle. Uh, should be interesting. We also have a new sprite. We have Rosa. Starting off with the Magic Rod. That's pretty cool. Uh, here's our bingo board. So we got face key, kill Deathel, okay. Fish the ponds, kill Hinox, five leads, get photo eight. I don't know what photo eight is. Mapping compass, color dungeon, photo five, shovel, level two bracelet, flippers. Map and compass in seven. Four fountain fairies. Surf harp. Compass map and compass in tail cave. Bomb upgrade. Power bracelet. Map and compass in four. Photo three, which is the well. I can tell that one. Eight heart containers. Battle to the windfish. Kill ball and chain trooper. Level two shield. Open. All four overworld warps and sea lily. So there's a lot of s random things, it seems. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure out how we're going to get through here. Got the blue tunic. All right. Shop is a bomb upgrade. Okay. So that is going to be a thing. We're going to want that pretty soon. So that is a square. Uh, I'm not going to steal it. We're going to try and buy it. That's a sword. Okay. Rose's key is a sword. I love it. <laughs> upside down hearts like we do with the regular subversion. There's the ocarina. Okay. So that's kind of a bummer. I would like to see that as well. Fifty roots. Okay. So let's fish the pond here. We can fish the pond with that. Oh, trendy game, right? Trendy game could be a thing. Let me check trendy game first. Oh yeah, uh, powder, powder from trendy game, right? I assume I have enough rupees to be able to fish the pond. So let's do that. Yeah, I have enough. Okay. 
Come on. Always end with the last one underneath. Because I think that takes you out. Oh, and with the ocarina, I can get the Bow to the Windfish check. And we got 50 rupees for that. Cool. So we net positive on rupees, plus we got a bingo square for that. I guess sword check could be a thing. That got me a shovel! Alright. That gets me an item. So I can dig in here. Got me 100 rupees. Okay. Let's go ahead and check the beach while I'm in the area. Now we can follow Powder. Use the Powder to get to the Tail Key. Check. Boots really only open up one check. But they're good to have. Alright, that's 50 more rupees. That gets us the bomb upgrade whenever we decide to go that way. But yeah, let's go check out this dungeon. Which came first, boots or seeds? Boots. Boots existed in Link's Awakening, or Link to the Past and Link's Awakening, whereas seeds were uh, only in uh, Oracles. That is D7. Uh, what can I do in here? I feel like I can do, do a few things, but I can't do like a ton. Especially without... You know what, I'm just leaving. I think I should just leave. Unless there's something I can do over here. No. Yeah, it's probably better to just leave from here. Let's get the bomb upgrade now, so we can see what the next item is.
That's a heart piece. We're not going to worry about that. Let me see what we're like kind of working towards on the on here. Uh uh. This one looks pretty good. Then again, I don't know. We'll have to see what else shows up. I need to find a bracelet. Bracelet or feather would be really good. Boomerang, all right. That's a nice find. Oh, boomerang's gonna allow me to get, yeah, that allows me to get an item. That's tail key. Okay. Lots of back and forth already. Yo, Deoxys, thanks for the good luck. Alright, so hopefully whatever dungeon we find here is going to be something we can do a lot of work in. So I should be able to do some work in here. I can't do a lot because I don't have a feather. Alright, there's some powder. And the rooster! Now we have a feather, essentially. <laughs> Does the rooster work in here? No, it doesn't. Okay. That will help me later on. Alright, there's a compass. I have a sword to be able to defeat this thing. I don't think I can do anything here because I don't have... Yeah. I think I'm done there. So now... Now because I have the rooster... Let me think of where I could end up. I guess I go back up towards D2. Unfortunately, this tracker hasn't been updated with the rooster, so figuring out exactly where I'm going to go is kind of difficult. 
Oh, I can go into the Moblin Cave here. Alright, so I should be able to get this check, which is the hook shot. Alright. So hook shot is going to allow me to go where? Probably no probably nothing so far. But we'll see. I know there's a cave over here I can grab one item out of. That is powder. Then I think... Yeah, I think the next place I want to go is back to the graveyard, because there is one check I can grab. I probably should have done graveyard first. Uh, right, can I? Oh yeah, I, I can go from down here. Unfortunately, without a bracelet, I can only get the one check here. And that's the feather. <laughs> the actual feather. So now with the actual feather... Now I can do work in dungeons. So let's head back. Let's head back and let's go into Dungeon 7. Of course it's Dungeon 7 and 8, right? Those are the two that we have access to. I feel like 7 is a little bit easier to make any progress in. Oh, I don't have bombs, right? So I can't do pillars. And because I don't have a bracelet, yeah, I, I can't do pillars normally. Wait, can I not do it with rod? There we go. Oh, I can't do that. Can't go anywhere over here. Oh, I can fight these guys. And 
back on me? Bow wow. Okay. Let's see if I go down here. Do I get access to anything? No. Oh, I could probably get back to Hinox going backwards. <laughs> Oh no, it's a one way. It's a one way. Uh or can I can I fall here to get to the chat? Yes, that works. Okay. That's a key. And then I can climb up to get to Hinox. Okay. That's a map. That's map and compass for D7, I think, right? There's our boss key. I'm doing a pretty good job of cleaning out D7 here. Completely out of logic, of course. That's what makes it fun. Oh, I, I just have to... Find the right spot to fall down? Oh no, I have to go down from... Oh, that, that was the wrong way. Let me just... Yeah, let me save and quit out of that. That might be easier. Yeah, that, that's how you're supposed to get around to here. No, that, now that's mapping compass, okay. I think there's still a few more checks I can grab here. Possibly even beat the whole level. Uh, actually... No, I can't. I can't beat the whole thing. Unless I can go backwards this way? No. I don't have a way of getting past all of these pillars.
I can at least do the nightmare key check on the next floor and get the mini boss portal done. Oh, bombs! I forgot I could get bombs from there. That's out, that's completely out of logic. Bombs, right? Does it does it give me bombs? It does not. Okay. I was gonna say, like, if I actually got bombs from that. That got me a seashell. Okay. Uh, there's a way of doing this, right? There's bombs! Alright. Now we're in business. Now I can finish this dungeon. <laughs> Uh, it might be easier for me to just save and quit and start from the beginning. And do it the way I normally do it. Oh, you know what? Let me grab a couple packs of bombs first. I don't know how many bombs you start with. Oh, I have 60 bombs? Okay, never mind. So yeah, who needs logic? When you can just do everything out of logic. Why can't I do this one? There we go. So yeah, we'll, we'll finish off this dungeon pretty easily. I'm using bomb triggers. So I'm using the bombs to think I'm doing a uh, bomb arrow. And that causes a cutscene to play, which, in those rooms, cutscenes are destroying the towers. Oh, actually, wait a second, there is one more thing I want to do. I need to get the left side, or right side, check. I forgot to fall down over here. But this is fine, because I've already done towers. It's the stone beak! I might as well just go see what this one says. Golden leaf at Bottle Grotto. Okay, cool. Thank you.
Uh, can I get this check up here? Uh, I think it's horse heads. Yeah, so I can't. It's a horse head check. Fine, we'll, we'll do it this way then. And that got me flippers, okay? So flippers, flippers are locked behind getting through D7. So that was worth it. And now, let me save, and then we'll head back home. Because I think, yeah, let's go to, the, the beach, and then we'll head back to D1 entrance. So the thing here with the beach is that I'm going to be able to uh, go ahead and blow up the wall here and get our gift, the boomerang salesman. Just a seashell, but it's an item, so I'll take it. And now I think we head back to D8. I think D8 was actually where we wanted to be to begin with. Like, once we got the feather, we probably should have gone to D8 first. <laughs> yeah, you can absolutely see that you would get one of those on the beach, right? Should be a lot of seashells on the beach, to be honest. Alright, so, D8. Another dungeon we can just completely destroy with out-of-logic stuff. Is that close enough? No. I know there's a spot you can put it at. Yeah. I think this is interesting because we can get to the back here.
Do I, I have a key, right? I have one key. Probably shouldn't be using this key, but whatever. I'm sure I'll be able to get another key. Another seashell. There's a key. Okay. And that's a mushroom. So we go turn that in. See that there. Alright, let me see where I'm at. In terms of items here. Got that, got that. Got all that. Oh, I didn't get that one. Yeah, I didn't get that one because I didn't have a way to jump earlier. Yeah, if I, if I come over here, I can get some stuff. Another key. Does that put me? Puts me there. You can either key to the left or go up. I think I'll go up. Alright, I don't have the beak yet. That's the Nightmaker! Okay. Got myself the Nightmare Key. Oh, this one is annoying. I don't like this. Oh, uh, you know what? We're not going back that way. Let's go... Let's just go fight the Nightmare. <laughs> Let's just go fight the boss right now. That got me a small key, as well. There's still a lot of things that we can do in this dungeon, so I'm gonna come back in.
I feel like there's really nothing I can do outside right now. There's maybe like a handful of things. The toadstool is probably the number one thing. So I'm more likely to just find something here. I gotta go around the long way. So that's the beak. There's an item here. Which is a map. Now let me see if I can get this other check over here. Because apparently it says it's out of logic, but... Oh, I see why it's out of logic, because I can't beat this guy. So yeah, I'm leaving. I'm leaving here. See ya. Let's go turn in the toadstool. curious how much more I can do without finding a bracelet. I feel like everything is bracelet locked right now. There it is. Like I was saying, <laughs> it's not much more I could do without a bracelet. So let's check out a million different things, right? Let's start with a dungeon that's accessible right here. And that's D5, okay. Nice, solid 200 rupees. Let me grab this one here. For a key. Another solid 200 rupees. And a compass.
And map! Alright. So we are making really good progress in Dungeon 5 here. Though I don't know how much of these dungeons I actually have to do, right? I gotta start thinking about our bingo goals. I still think just completing this dungeon right now makes the most sense. Because we're here... And we've got... A lot of these checks already done. I think after this, we want to definitely go get the photographer and start thinking about pictures. At least that's how I'm thinking about it. Though maybe the pictures aren't exactly what we want to look for right now. Because pictures are time consuming and they're not used for anything but the bingo goals. Alright, there's Nightmare Key. Yeah, might as well just beat the dungeon here. So according to this, it doesn't... Doesn't think I can beat the dungeon. Probably didn't mark a key or something. Oh, I didn't mark the nightmare key, that's why. Must have also gotten the, the beak at some point, right? Or not! Beak is on, on boss then? Yeah, let's beat this dungeon and then let's let's see what we're looking like in bingo. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's the beak. Okay. Oh, I have to grab it. Because there's so many places that I can go to. You know what? From here... From here I can reach the... The photographer. So let's go... Let's go at least open up the photography. Just in case we need it. Because there are a few uh, pictures. Let's see what we're looking at. We've got a decent amount of things. We need well for surf harp. Eight hearts. I mean, we could get that picture easy. Gotta find color dungeon. We could get that picture easy. Wait, didn't I? Didn't I fish the pond? I thought I did. All right, let's let's get those pictures. That's, that's where the picture is. I was like, I know the picture is here somewhere. I don't need to do the steel picture. Oh, let's do Dream Shrine while we're here. Maybe we can start getting some hearts. That would help a lot. I could probably get all four warps. Because we'll get this warp. We already got the one up by D8. Ooh, another heart container is really good. So that gets me up to six hearts. I need eight. Yeah, I might as well just make my way around through all of these areas. I feel like the most progress we're going to make is just going this way.
frog songs? Okay. And there's the slime key. So we can go into that dungeon now. <laughs> slime key was literally hiding on top of the, the dungeon. That's pretty cool. And this is vanilla D3, okay. I don't know how much progress I wanna make in here. Shield's good, okay. I probably want to do at least, like, the top floor here. Maybe more. I don't know. I haven't decided. Already sitting at three keys. Maybe this stone beak will help. Let's see. If you want Marin, start looking at Baby Village. Why, thank you. That's a key. Also key. Half a year. In the words of Bon Jovi, we're halfway there. Yo, sound with the six months. Living on a prayer there. Appreciate it. Yeah, I think... Dungeon diving is probably not the play here. Definitely seems like overworld stuff is probably a little bit better. Unless it's, you know, a dungeon where you have to find the map and compass out of for a, a bingo goal. Because this, this dungeon really isn't giving me anything. Oh, 
hole in the prairie. There's a bracelet in the prairie. Is that... Is that the one that I got? I don't remember where I got the bracelet from. There's a leaf. All right. I might as well just finish the dungeon while I'm here, right? There's no point to just leaving while I have like one jack left. I need the nightmare key. Where's... Oh, I know where the nightmare key is. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna leave then. Yo, sound gifting six subs. Really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Not sure why the notification only went off once there. Usually it would go off for multiple. But congrats to everyone that got their subs there. Alright, so that's one of the pictures we needed. There's another seashell. Uh, let's figure out where we want to go. I think getting to Animal Village... Animal Village is pretty good. Oh, that's a heart container. That's really good. Honestly, we're getting really close. We're getting really close to being able to, uh, to do this here. So yeah, let's go Animal Village. Another seashell. Then I'm gonna need to be able to get up to Taltel for the last one. Because I, I now have three of the war points. I need the one up, to, up on Taltel Heights for the last. One more heart container. I probably need. Probably need Marin to follow me. And go down the well. Oh, that's our level 2 sword. Let's grab that.
And yeah, once I finish with the desert here, I'm gonna go back home and check what we need. Because I feel like we're getting really close to getting a, a bingo somewhere. Especially with that heart container. Because we might, we might be able to just finish very soon. Turn home. Let's take a look at our bingo board. Bingo board. Yeah, I need f I need to find four. We need to get the picture down the well. That's going to be my easiest path, I think. So we need to keep looking for dungeons. Uh, D5. We can go into D5 entrance. That could get us into four, maybe. Oh, is that not the one? Is, is that not the picture? That's photo eight. Photo eight. Oh, jumping into the fisherman boat. Okay, it's the fisherman boat. I could do that one. Oh, I should have done that while I was in Ammo Village. Do I want to go for that? Oh, see Lily Bell. D1. I only have one leaf. Hinox, Color Dungeon, Surf Harp. Ah. Yeah, let's let's head up to Tal Tal. Or no, no, let's let's go to Fisherman and then D5 entrance. Yeah, let's do that first. Fisherman D5 entrance. Because we at least have the Animal Village work now. So the dungeons we want to find are one, five, and four, or one, one color and four. Those are the ones that we need maps and compasses out of. Wait, how do I get this? How do I get this one? I don't know. All right, whatever. We're not gonna get that row, most likely. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Like, that bingo row is just not gonna happen. Because I don't know how to get that, that picture. Alright, it's D4. This is a big one. This gets us, what, two? Two potential squares. We have Surf Harp, and we have, um... What is it? Surf Harp, and also... 
the map's compass. gotta return the hook well you can't return the hook if <laughs> if you don't have trade items on so that is just a dead square then I literally can't do it I was hoping like there was a workaround for not having trade items on, but I guess not. Because I know there's a workaround if you don't have uh, stealing on. You can still get the stealing uh, picture. Because it'll still allow you to steal, even if you turn stealing off. Just for the picture, at least. So having trade items off should have allowed me to get the picture without having trade items on, but I don't know how that works. Uh, that was... That was a good key. That was the Nightmare key, I believe. Hello? Send me the other direction! <laughs> yeah, it was the Nightmare key. One check down here. I got a. Did I get the beak? Yeah. Bow is at the face shrine. Okay. Don't need the bow. Level two bracelet. That's an item. That's an item check. That's on a square. And a second leaf. Okay. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Alright, there's map and compass. So that's that square. That's another leaf? Oh! Oh, hold on. We're, we're getting lots of leaves. We still have to do the surf harp here. Alright, that's a seashell.
Alright, whatever. So we're done there. I think we want to go to the beach. Yeah, let's let's go to the beach from here. Because then we can get, uh, we can get Baron. I like this route. I like this. Fifty groups. All right. And I got. Did I get bird key? I believe. Pretty sure I got bird key. Yeah, I got bird key. So next next stop is gonna be Tao Tao, right? Next stop after going through here. Press the jump button at the right time. There we go. Another seashell. Another one. Oh, she's not here. She's not here for me to do the thing. How do I get her to follow me then? Don't know how that works. I might not be able to get that that picture then. There's definitely some like weird interactions with pictures and stuff for the rando that I'm not familiar with. So let's take a look at the bingo board again. Because bingo board shows up over, up here too. So D0, fish, fisherman picture. If I find D0, then I get it. Because I get the warps as well. Ballad of the Windfish or and Phase Key could also get me there. I could literally just do it if I could figure out how to get photo 3. But I need to get Marin. If I knew how to get Marin to follow me, we could do it. Let me s let me look up in here.
Yeah, I, I don't know uh, how to get Marin to follow me. So maybe we'll just keep... Keep playing. We'll get the warp, we'll figure out some other stuff. Those pictures might not happen. I don't have angler key. Okay, so that is our fourth warp. Let's head up to uh, Eagle Tower. Since I have Bird Key, I might as well go up there. I probably could have gotten the the warp on the way down from Eagle Tower, because I would have dropped, jumped down and then I could just pass by the screen. Alright, what's in your cave? Nothing. Grab a few things from over here first. Because we will be, uh. We probably won't be coming back this way. Bow to the wind fish! Okay. That is really good. That gets me a little bit closer to another goal as well. So I think if I find face key, right, face key, uh, face key gets me a goal, a uh, bingo, I think.
All right, let's see what dungeon we got here. D6. Start off with a beak. And there's the bow. Okay. See, I, I knew... We got that hint that the bow was in here, right? So it's like, I'm going to find the bow. Now we need to figure out what else we need to find. Realistically... Realistically, the only things we need to find... things we need for the um, bingo. Wait, is that the right way? No, no, it's the other way around. Why did it? Why did I swap that, swap that again? There we go. That's how I wanted it. trying to think of like how I want to go through here. I think I'm better off just leaving.
Yeah, I don't think I go to the left, uh, the right side at all here. I think we just run out of here. Which, I believe since I went out the back, I have to run out the front entrance. Uh, maybe? Yeah, let, let's just do that. Let's just do it that way. Face key. I think that's I think that's bingo. I think that's bingo. Let me see. I think that's bingo. Yeah. That's bingo. Oh and, and it just automatically finished. Awesome. That was cool. That was a lot of fun. I just have to figure out how to get some of these pictures, because I could have finished a lot faster. Because if I could have gotten Marin, I could have gotten Bingo so much sooner, but I don't know how to gra grab her, because she wasn't on the beach. And then the one in town, she wasn't talk like she was just saying the the same things over and over again. She wasn't gonna follow me. Yeah, bingo was fun. De definitely a little bit different. Because, you know, having to figure out... Like, what bingo goals you're going after. Versus, you know, just cleaning things out. Deciding whether or not to stay in a dungeon. Like, some of the dungeons we, we didn't even find. Doing a lot of overworld seems to be pretty good in uh, Bingo. Of course, the, the dungeons you want to do are the ones that have, you know, the map and compass goals or the instrument goals, stuff like that. But for my first bingo attempt, this wasn't too bad. One thirty three thirty seven. It's a very nice time. <laughs> 